Cosmologist Max Tegmark seems to be fond of radical explanations of reality. And it's no different when it comes to maths. Instead of just accepting mathematical order in the world, he's been trying to figure out why it exists and where it comes from. And he thinks he has a solution. To me, math is the window on our universe. It's the master key to understanding. I wouldn't say I'm completely monogamous with equations, but there are just a very few I love the most. I love them because they describe exactly what's going on outside the window in our universe. These equations describe how light behaves. This equation describes how gravity behaves. This equation describes how atoms behave. These equations describe what happens when you go really fast near the speed of light. And it's just amazing to me that a little bit of scribbles like this can capture the essence of, of what's going on in this very complicated looking universe out there. Galileo way back in the Renaissance already remarked that nature seems to be a book written in the language of mathematics. This all came after we discovering even more and more mathematical regularities out there. What is it telling us? I think our universe isn't just described by math. I think it is math. I think our entire universe is a giant mathematical structure that we're a part of. And that that's the reason why the more we study physics, the more mathematical regularities we keep discovering. Max's theory pushes at the edges of physics and into the realm of philosophy, conjuring up the oldest question of all. What is real? I think the universe is a mathematical object. It's just out there existing in a sort of platonic sense. It's not that it's existing inside of space and time, but space and time exist inside of it. And that really changes our perspective. And that really means that um, reality is very different from how it seems. If Max is right, maths isn't a language we've invented, but a deep structure we're gradually uncovering, like archaeologists. An abstract, unchanging entity that has no beginning and no end. As we peel back the layers, we're discovering the code. Strange as it seems, it's a comforting theory because if reality is a mathematical object, understanding it might be within our reach. If I'm wrong, it means that fundamental physics is eventually going to hit a roadblock beyond which we just can't understand reality any better. If I'm right, then there is no roadblock and Everything is in principle understandable to us. And I think that will be wonderful because then we will only be limited by our own imagination. These two grand visions of reality, the mathematical structure and the cosmic hologram, represent theoretical thinking at its most imaginative and beautiful. They may lead us towards a bright future or they may end up being discarded because as all physicists know, Nothing becomes real without being put to the test. Few know this more acutely than the scientists at Fermilab. Right now they're engaged in the greatest race of modern physics, trying to find a bit of reality that's been missing for 40 years. It's the most important particle of all the Higgs boson. Nobody really understands the origin of mass. And the Higgs particle was introduced to explain why different particles have different masses. So it is important because it answers one of the most fundamental unknowns in reality, in particle physics. Mass makes reality, and we don't know where it comes from. 
is round the cloud work and there's people running computer codes, sifting through the data, finding new ways of looking for the Higgs because the, the, you can get incredibly creative. And in fact, this is one of the things that happens here that you start doing the easy uh, analysis, the easy way to looking for things. Is, and as it gets harder, you get more and more creative. The Higgs is now Fermilab's number one priority, but they aren't the only ones looking for it. They have competition. From the biggest particle accelerator of them all, the Large Hadron Collider in Geneva. It's more than three times as powerful. So it may yet be the one that discovers the Higgs first. Meanwhile, the Tevatron continues its 10 million collisions a day. I feel really, really proud of this machine. It's been a beauty of an instrument for many, many years. And uh, hopefully it'll help us unveil one more secret of reality in the very near future. Billions of dollars have been poured into this quest, and thousands of physicists around the world are looking for the Higgs boson but it's still theoretical. What if we don't find it? Okay, so, so if we don't find anything that has the properties that are expected of this uh, Higgs boson, or can do the job, we'll really, really, really have to rethink a lot of what we thought we knew. <laughs> that won't happen. <laughs> We'll find some. <laughs> it may be that we are standing on the verge of a new version of reality. We have these clues, quantum mechanics, relativity, the holographic principle, a few others, and it's just waiting around for somebody to really put it together into what does it really say about reality. Physicists have redefined reality by close measurement and observation of the material world. They drill down to the bottom layer. Discovered that we can change reality just by looking at it. and begun to sense that information encoded at the edge of our universe could be more important than matter. But in the end, reality is perhaps best defined as an intelligent conversation with the universe that will continue as long as we're around to ask the questions.